call a lawyer initiative has initiated a human rights community initiative series in collaboration with various stakeholders to raise awareness about human rights law in local communities across Nigeria and promote the rule of law and equal access to justice. Our law gives us that leverage, Section 17 of Legal Aid Act, that we can partner with NGOs, and that is why we are partnering with Call a Lawyer. Like you said, we don't have enough manpower to meet up with the yearning needs of Nigerians, especially the poor ones. But with Call a Lawyer, there could be a pool of lawyers that can be brought together and people will be able to access their services. Like what the Call a Lawyer has done today by interpreting um, the part four of the Constitution which deals with human, fundamental human rights, it's a very good thing. You know, it's easier for people who cannot read and write in English to be able to read it in Hausa, be able to understand their rights, and more so to be able to know how to access those rights. We want to even embark on an enlightenment campaign, which is the most important one, because people have to know their rights in the first step. They have to know their rights, they have to know what those rights are, and then that's only when they can know if that right is, is violated, because many Nigerians do not even know that some of their rights are being violated. So Kola Lawyer now has shown that they intend to translate, you know, chapter four of the Constitution of Nigeria, which is the most basic and the most fundamental provision dealing with uh, protection of human rights, that is a step in the right uh, direction because it is only then that Nigerians will know, and especially people of the grassroots, that their rights have been violated. I am with them on this. I will team up and I will partner with them in making sure that uh, those translations are actually taken to the people of the down, uh, I mean, taken to the people uh, in, in the grassroots so they can, they can actually recognize their rights. Speaking during the launching ceremony, the executive director of the group said the objective of the initiative is to facilitate understanding among residents at the grassroots level. We are here because Call a Lawyer Initiative, a group of young lawyers um, who are committed to providing um, free legal services to Nigerians who do not have access or who do, cannot afford legal representation, um, have decided to see how best we can make the human rights laws and the human rights um, provisions under the Nigerian 1999 constitution. Uh, what we are here currently is to ensure that we, we, have, we hold what we call the community human rights meeting. In this meeting, we are not interpreting with the door at the top, we are not inter, you know, inter, inter, um, communicating with the middle class, we are reaching out to the grassroots, those are the grassroots, that, and we think that the, the provisions of the, of the constitution on human rights must be made locally relevant in their communities, you know, and it's not about today alone. After this event, we have a channel to which if they have complaints of, their, of an infringement on their fundamental human rights, that they can reach out to Call a Lawyer. Call a Lawyer Initiative has currently translated Part 4 of the Nigerian Constitution, which deals with fundamental human rights, into six languages which include Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Fulfulde, Ijo, and Kanuri. Mohamed Adamu, AIT News Kanu. Oh, my God.